about my mytho fantasy series, the Naraka Cycle. The Naraka Cycle is set in a continent named Naraka or Padala, and it is based on one of the worlds in our Itihasas and Puranas, one of the 14 worlds in Hindu cosmology. And five civilizations inhabit Naraka, the continent. We have the Rakshasas, the Asuras, the Vidyadaras, the Nagas, and the Kinnaras. Let me share something about the Rakshasas today. The Rakshasas are sailors, they are seafaring. They have beautiful three level boats called four couples. They speak Tamar, ancient language. They are huge in stature more than 10 feet tall, both men and women, and live on the southern Rakshasan Islands off the southwestern coast and the northwestern coast. The southwestern islands are tropical, and the northwestern islands off the coast of America towards the pole, the north pole of the world, in this world, are icy, icy sea. So obviously the, the clothing, the architecture vary, but the language is the same. They worship goddess Vaishnavi, female form of goddess of God. Vishnu and they are great warriors and also great farmers. One of the characters in book one Ravan's trial is Maricha who is the son of Tataka and Sunda from the northern icy islands and he meets Shurpanaka, in fact, and Harsha in Book 1, Avan's Trial, that's the Naraka Cycle Series. The Rakshasas are quite interesting when it comes to battle. Obviously, they are very able seafaring sailors. They fight with big battle axes and also the moon blades which are long pole weapons with a moon shaped edge and the Rakshas and Star Walkers have developed the ability to look at the stars and navigate not only in the ocean but also on land. They're an important part of the story. Another important Rakshasa in the story is Vidyachiva. Vidyachiva helps Ravan, Kumbhakarn and the underground to actually find their way to the mine at Asurapura. Another important Rakshasa is Vidyachiva. And Vidyachiva actually is an important character in the books. Now according to our Purana Vitihasa, Vidya Jiva marries Turpanaka. And so he's the husband of Turpanaka according to our epics. And so I have actually introduced him in my mytho fantasy series, the Naraka Cycle. And 